And hi everybody out there, Mark Mannering here from Class Training with another You Know What, Three Minute Thursday, three tips in three minutes. Uh, it's been a while, but we're back on board. And what we're gonna cover is an important aspect of Excel and dealing with duplicate data in your spreadsheet. So let's get into it. In my example here, I've got my job work orders. There's my purchase order number. There's the invoice number coming from my suppliers for the particular job they've done and so on. And what I want to do is find and work with any uh, duplicate numbers that might be in that particular column, the invoice number column. Now, tip number one is to get Excel to automatically highlight in a particular color, any duplicate numbers in that column. The first thing you do is to select all those numbers. So let's use the common shortcut. We're gonna click on the first number. We go, amen, peace and love with our left hand, control and shift, hold down those keys with your two fingers, hit the down arrow key. It automatically selects down to the bottom. Then we go up to the home tab and go to conditional formatting. And there's a built-in option here, highlight the cell rules all the way over down towards the bottom here, duplicate values. Let's click on that. And the default uh, features come up. Let's uh, highlight, yep, all duplicate data with a light red fill and dark red text. The other options, you can change colors depending on what you want. I'll leave it on light red, click OK, and then press Control Home on the keyboard. And straight away, I can see two duplicate numbers there highlighted in red. If I scroll down, I might find another one. There's another 4923 in that example. 3452 is coming up as well because further down there's another one as well. So Excel just highlights all the duplicate data. Control home back again. Second big tip is to actually sort by those duplicate numbers. Instead of scrolling up and down trying to find them, I've already applied the drop down filters here that you normally work with to sort things and filter things. So what I do here, if I go to the invoice number section, I can go. Uh, to the drop down and not sorting here. We go down to sort by color because the colors have been applied. Now each duplicate cell has got a light background pink color and a dark red font color. Doesn't matter which one you choose because both those are applied to each duplicate figure. So I just click on the top one and it sorts by the duplicate numbers. It hasn't sorted by the actual numbers. So the 4923, that's out of order, but at least it's brought all the duplicate figures or numbers to the top and I can easily deal with them and sort with them and uh, work with them. I'll put that back to what it was, sort by the purchase order number. And then tip number three is to actually filter by those duplicate numbers. So instead of just sorting them all to the top, I can go back to that drop down for that particular column, go down to here, filter by color this time, not just sort. And it's got the same colors. Again, doesn't matter which one you use. Click on that in the same sort of way. It brings them to the top, but it's actually filtering out and hiding, therefore, all of the unique figures. And now I can work with them, find out what's wrong, and away I go. Okay, there you go, some very simple but uh, useful ways to work with duplicate data. We cover all this in our Excel courses coming up, face-to-face -face courses in here in Albury, as well as the online uh, courses that we're running, uh, also closed site or on-site courses we can run for you as well. Just contact me, get in touch, and uh, sign. So there's a link there to the left for the courses coming up on our website. Uh, so until next time, Mark Mannering signing off and all the best. Thank you. Bye.